This video uses simple equipment to perform a typical classroom experiment to demonstrate the law of momentum. Let's make sure of a couple of things first. Momentum is the mass of something times its velocity. The law of momentum states that in a closed system, momentum is conserved. So for example, in a collision like this, the momentum of the two cars before the collision is exactly the same as the momentum of the two cars after. Sparing absolutely no expense on scientific equipment, I've got here two free-running little cars, weighted down to adjust the mass to exactly 200 grams and 150 grams. I'm placing these on a smooth table where they can run with negligible friction. I'm going to push one into the other so that they collide and then stick together. This is called an inelastic collision. The table's marked with lines which are exactly 25 centimeters apart. And this is so that before and after the collision we can measure the velocity of each vehicle. Stuck to the front of the red car is some white tack, very sticky, and we've got the same on the back of the lorry. So we'll push these into one another with a timer to measure the velocity. That was very quick, but I've taken a still to show how long it took the car to travel 25 centimetres. Now, let's watch the second part, starting the timer as they collide. And again, taking a snapshot as they pass the 25 centimetre mark. The trouble with analysing the results of a real experiment are that the numbers are never dead easy. However, let's look at them and then try. We've got the masses of the vehicles at 0.2 kilograms, 200 grams, and 0.15 kilograms. We can work out the speed before the collision from the distance, 25 centimetres, and the time, 0.75 seconds, and similarly after the collision where the time was 1.33 seconds. So first, what are we trying to do? Well, we're looking at the law of momentum. You'll remember that momentum is mass times velocity. Mass, as always, is measured in kilograms and velocity in metres per second. So that gives the units of momentum as kilogram metres per second. The law of momentum states that in any closed system, momentum is conserved. So we're going to check that the law of momentum applies here. If it has, then the total momentum before the collision will be equal to the total momentum after the collision. So the mass of each vehicle times its velocity beforehand will be equal to the total mass times the new velocity afterwards. So, near the top of the screen, we'll calculate the velocity before. That's going to be the distance travelled divided by the time, which to three significant figures, 0.25 divided by 0.75 is 0.333. In exactly the same way, we'll calculate the velocity after, which is 0.25, same distance, divided by 1.33, and that gives us 0 0.188. If we calculate the momentum from these values, then if the law of momentum is true, the total momentum before the collision will be equal to the total momentum after. Using these values in the equation at the bottom, we've therefore got a mass of 0 0.20 times 0 0.333, plus zero because the second truck was stationary before the collision, and that will be equal to, or should be equal to, the total mass of the two trucks stuck together, 0.2 kilograms plus 0.15, which comes to 0 0.35 kilograms, multiplied by the velocity of the pair after the collision, 0 0.188. That gives us 0 0.666 equals 0 0.657, which it clearly doesn't, but it's very close, which is not bad considering the basic equipment we used. So, we'll give ourselves a big self-satisfied tick, confident that the law is soundly based. To confirm your understanding, perhaps you'd like to look at this short examination-style question. Thank you for watching.